What's going on guys, Wiltshire here bringing you some pleasant news on the PSP hacking scene. As you can see on the screen, an exploit has been released for 6.20 firmware. For those who are stuck on 6.20 firmware, you are now able to launch homebrew and ISOs on 6.20 using TN-A. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my PC and I'm going to show you guys how to install the files on your PSP correctly because I've decided to drop the auto installers. So we're going to switch over to the PC. Now that we've switched over to the PC, we can now begin the installation process. You'll see three file folders that are highlighted on my desktop. These file folders will be bundled in a package that you must download in the description or the underbar. Without these three file folders, you will not be able to enable TN-A. So once you've downloaded the package, you need to enable your PSP on USB mode. Once you have done that, open your PSP on your computer and open the half byte loader folder. Now you'll see two files in the half byte loader folder. You need to drag and drop those onto your PSP's root. And once you've done that, that's all you need to do for the half byte loader. And we'll move on to the next folder. So next you need to open up the TNA exploit. And this file folder goes into the PSP and game folder. I already have the hen in there, but just for educational purposes, I will be dragging and dropping and replacing everything. And we can move on to the Patapon 2 exploit. So for the Patapon 2 exploit, we need to go to our save data. And all you need to do is drag and drop the save data folder in there. And you're done. You will now need to go find the Patapon 2 demo, which will be linked in the description as I will not be providing the, the download for you. So it will be linked to an external site. Now let's jump back over to the PSP and show you how to enable TN-A. All right, now that we've switched over from your PC to your PSP, once you've installed the files correctly, first thing you want to do is you want to go over to your game and then go to your memory stick and launch the Patapon 2 demo. Once you've launched the Patapon 2 demo, you need to load the game state that we put in your save data. And this will launch the half byte loader. And if it pops up on the screen asking you to save data, don't save data. Just click continue without saving or you may get an error so once on the main menu on Patapon 2 what you want to do is you want to go to continue and then load the game state by wallow and once it's loaded you want to click the R trigger up here twice once when I ask you to press any button like now and once you're on the screen click R again and it should launch the half byte loader now that it's launched the half byte loader, we want to go down to the text that says hen and you want to click X on it. And this will launch the TN-A hack. You may get an a warning saying memory leak. This is normal. And make sure you disable all plugins before doing this in case you have any plugins on your PSP. Now once we go to our system settings, you'll see that we have 6.20 TN-A bracket hen bracket. And that's about it, guys. So I hope this was helpful, and I hope you guys have fun with this. I will be doing more videos on this hack in the future. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll be back with more PSP videos. See you later, guys.